Hey, eighth graders, today's assignment is Newton's first law worksheet. Your learning targets for today. I can model the change of motion of an object given different forces. So if you guys will look at either what the object was doing before a force is applied or after the force is applied, you guys can kind of take a look at the force and analyze that and tell me either what change it made in its velocity. So what did it start out as or what did it end up as in after the force? Okay, your other learning target, I can model different forces required to change the motion of an object. So that's where you guys would be showing me the little pink arrow to kind of show me how big the force is, what direction that force might have been in uh, to cause a change in velocity that's given to you guys. For your bell ringer today, you guys had slides two and three. So in order to get an object to slow down, in what direction would you need to exert a force? In order to get an object to start moving, in what direction would you need to exert a force? Okay, and on slide three, in order to get an object to change direction, in what order, uh, in what direction would you need to exert a force? To get an object to stop, what direction? And to get an object to speed up, what direction would you need that force? So use your draw tool to circle the correct answer on those five problems. If you guys need to take a second and pause this video and complete your bell ringer, go ahead and do that now. Okay, moving on to slide four, you guys are going to be using the sim um, for the first part of this. and and then you guys will be kind of modeling what you guys observe in the sim. So your sim is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that link up. Okay, our link is right here. The first thing you guys will do with that is um, you need to understand that you're gonna use the puck that's given to you guys every time. So don't switch your puck, it's the one kilogram puck and we wanna keep using that puck through all of these sim activities. Okay, so for this section, you will use the sim to observe how different forces can affect the motion of an object. Open the sim, set the velocity of the object to two centimeters per second to the right. This is what we will call a medium velocity. So we're gonna set it to two centimeters per second to the right. Okay, there's our medium velocity. Our large velocity would be three. Our small velocity would be one. So we're gonna be working with our medium velocity today. Okay, at least on these uh, first two. Okay, so this is what we call a medium velocity. Apply the forces provided in the table and record the change in velocity. Okay, so all of our starting velocities are gonna be two centimeters per second to the right. For this first test, we're gonna apply a force of 20 newtons to the left. So remember for each click we do, that's 10 newtons of force. So we're gonna need to click it twice. So we're going to go ahead and hit run. We're going to hit prepare force. And we're going to do a force of two clicks to the left in the opposite direction and then exert that force. Okay, so if we notice our objects start, mo stop moving. So if we kind of do an instant replay here and hit play, our object was moving. We hit it with 20 newtons to the left and then it stopped. Okay, so what you guys would record on here is our change in velocity. In this case, we caused our object to stop. So you guys would uh, copy that in as well, okay? All right, and then you guys would do the same thing. Uh, restart your puck, make it have an initial speed of two centimeters per second to the right. Do 20 newtons to the right. Do the same thing, except on this one, you're gonna do 10 newtons to the left. It's gonna be a small force, okay? And then on your last one, you're gonna do a large force to the left and tell me what happens, okay? So go ahead, uh, take a second to complete this part of the sim activity. And then when you're done, you guys can hit play on this video. Okay, on slide five, you guys have the second part of the sim. On this one, you guys are gonna develop your guys' own um, little sim, just kind of like you guys did here, except on this one, you guys are gonna tell me, all right, we're using object A, so the one kilogram puck, that's one thing we're not gonna change on this. Okay, you guys are gonna set your own speed, so all of these will be medium. So object A are all gonna be medium speeds. You're gonna tell me what they're starting to move at. Your options are one centimeter, two centimeters, or three centimeters, okay? So you're either gonna start out with a small velocity, a medium velocity, or a large velocity, okay? So you're gonna tell me that in object A. Then you're gonna tell me what size force you're gonna do, and then you're gonna test it out in the sim, and you're gonna tell me what change in velocity that you saw. Okay, so again, just select your starting velocity either to the right or the left. Apply either a small 10 Newton force, a medium, a 20 Newton force, so two clicks, or a large 30 Newton force, so three clicks, uh, force to the puck either right or left, and then you guys will fill out this data table. So go ahead, take a second, complete this part of the sim, and then you guys can move on to the last part of this, which is really the beef of this assignment and what you guys will be able to show me in your assessments in the next coming days. All right. So this first one is the example. I'm gonna do it with you guys, and then you guys will have the rest of the time to work on um, these modeling. So you guys really have to pay attention to what I'm asking each of the questions. So if I'm saying, like in your example, it says in the during force box, use a pink arrow to model the force exerted that would cause a change in the velocity indicated. So the only thing I'm gonna be doing is this highlighted box here. So notice the pink color. In the during force, here's my during force. Use a pink arrow, so I'm gonna use one of these arrows. 
Okay, so everything else is already done for you guys. So in this one, we have a medium force. You guys can, or excuse me, a medium velocity. You guys can notice that it's missing down here. Okay, um, we're using a medium-sized puck. That's not going to change throughout all of these modeling tools. The reason we're doing that is because this is kind of simulating what's going to happen to our medium-sized pod that is collecting our asteroids. Okay, and then at the end of that, after the force is exerted, we notice that that puck stops moving. So you have to start and think about what force. Um, what force are we exerting to get that medium velocity to stop moving? Okay, so in, first of all, you're going to have to think which direction. Okay, in order to get an object to stop moving, you need to exert a force to the left. So we're either going to be using a left arrow for the small, medium, or large force. Okay, it is moving medium, and it stops moving. So for that one, we're going to need a medium force. So we're going to click and drag the medium force up there for our example. Okay, that's all we have to do for that problem. That's the first example. Okay, on slide seven, you guys have problem number one. Okay, this one, it's asking in the after force box, so notice the teal highlights here, uh, model the velocity of the object after the force is exerted. So in this one, I give you the force, and you guys are going to tell me what change you see. So it was moving with a small velocity to the right. Okay, I'm adding a force in the same direction, so that should get it to speed up. Okay, so if it's going a small velocity, I add a medium force. Notice my medium is missing. That's going to cause it to speed up and move to the right with a large velocity. So I would click and drag that large velocity there. Okay. You guys will have all of these to uh, fix and correct. Okay. So go through the rest of these down through slide 19. When you guys are done, you'll do your exit ticket. Okay. And then um, I will provide some corrections for you guys as well so you can go back and correct. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you're having a great day. Bye.